Welcome to our training session on SAR logs. Uh, today we're going to teach you how to use your training log. We're going to assume that you've already created your account and you went to the bottom of the page and tapped the little dog icon and you're in the log section. So today we're going over trailing logs. So go down and tap the training log. It'll open up. Okay. Now you're going to see different fields to fill in. How you go about filling these in is you can either tap in the field with your finger, use your little wand, or if you've already pre-filled out these fields in the past and saved them, I've set it up so that uh, if you type the first letter of your name or the first letter of your dog's name, uh, it'll fill in for you automatically. You can just tap it here. So I'll just kind of show you. If you look in the right-hand corner down there, you see a little triangle. You can tap that, and if you've filled this out before, you can just touch it, and it'll put it right in there for you. So whichever whichever works best for you. Um, when you get your little keyboard up like this, I fill it, fill this out, and on mine, I have the little green arrow where I can go ahead and tap on the green arrow, and it will take me to the next field. So you can fill out the text, and I'm going to fill out the text of all these, location of the search area. Um, we'll just do Highland, just use what I used in the past for the search area. Now you come down, is it a rural search area, suburban, urban search area? You put a check mark, just touch it, a check mark will come in there. Now you see these headings like weather, and they have these gray add new buttons. Anytime you see the gray add new button, touch it, and it'll bring you to a whole new page with that information. So, weather. You have all kinds of choices I put in here for you. and Or if you don't like what's there, you can enter a new option. Down here at the bottom where it says cancel, enter new option, or OK, you can just tap that and put in whatever you would like to. OK. Uh, temperature, once again, we can use whatever was put in previously. Like sometimes we have multiple days in a row that it's the same. Or you can put in something new if you want. 68 today and I live in the United States so I'm going to put Fahrenheit 68 degrees Fahrenheit wind direction just say it was west how is your humidity we have drop down choices for you you can either just select high medium low or you can enter a new option whichever you'd like we're trying to be as flexible as possible for this wind speed oh, we'll just go something simple here We'll do 8 miles per hour. Okay, we're done with this page, so you go to the top right hand and you can hit the Save button. Okay, Trail Conditions. Come on, go down here and you hit the Add New button and Trail Conditions will pop up for you. So, terrain conditions, was it short, medium grass, tall, whatever you want. I put in some things for you here, and then you can add anything that you need to. Uh, were the woods or brush, was it thick or heavy, thin or light? Okay, what kind of, you know, what kind of terrain was it? Was it flat, hilly? We're just going to say it was hilly. Put check in there, and that's it for this one. So that's it for this page. So we'll hit save. I'll bring us back to the main page again. Trailing articles. Okay. What kind of scent article did you use? I usually use a rag. So it's going to pop up from what I typed in before. I use rags and people. Um, or you can use coats, hats, you know, whatever. So it'll just fill in whatever you like. And what time was the clue put out? And I'll just say 2.30. Well, noon's good. I'll put in noon. Use what I used before. Uh, description of the trail. Uh, description of the trail is great because you can put it was a you know one mile long trail. With multiple turn, you know, with two right hand turns. And let's see, one left hand turn.
Okay. And you'll notice as we're typing, it's nice because the dictionary is also incorporated into this off your device. So, since your dictionary is incorporated into the device, it works out really nice. So, for spelling. Okay. Now we're going to come down, and we've got known, single blind, and double blind. Well, what this is about, um, known to be for like a newer dog where you're trying to teach him, uh, and you have to know where your uh, helper went out to go hide. Uh, single blind is if you had a teammate tell your helper where to go hide, you worked the trail, and they were behind you and knew where the person was. Double blind would be if you and a team member went and worked a trail, but neither one of you working the trail knew where your helper was at the time. You just had to work the trail and be successful and get to them. So that's double blind. Okay, so we'll just put single blind in there. Howled your trail, whatever you want to put in here. I just put multiples in here and you can add a new option if you want, whatever you like. Okay, now this next one is, uh, this is specific for uh, when you're working on your training sets. A lot of times you'll you'll be working on corners and things, so you'll lay out multiple rags or multiple clues for your dog, and this is a way where you can go ahead and log those, or you can log them on your trail too, whichever you like to do. So you just hit the green plus sign, and it brings you to this special page. So what we've got for you here is clue. What kind of clue? do you leave well I usually do regs people things like that so the first the first thing I put out is a reg location the start uh, time we can say whatever the time is we'll just say two and what was the wind direction uh, northwest you know whatever whatever it is then you go up and you hit save now we do multiples of these because we've laid out multiple regs uh, you know, sometimes you need to do 10, sometimes you need to just do 5. Whatever you do, you can put as many here as you want. So the next clue would be, uh, we'll say a reg again. Whoops. Reg. And the location would be, I'll put a leg, because leg would be the next part, you know. Uh, you do 10 regs, the first one is a start. The second one, leg, all the way up to like nine, and the tenth one would be like the person. So then the time you you got to that reg, let's say it's 2.15, and then it's still northwest, blowing northwest across your regs. Save. Okay. And then we'll do one more clue, then we'll just say person, location, and this will be the last one, time, we'll just say 2.30 to make it easy, and then just northwest again was blowing. So that's a good way to, to log your, when you're doing your corners training for the rags you use for your corner training, and if you're going across the field, it works really good. Uh, it's great to have that stuff logged just so you know what's going on with your stuff. Okay, now we come down and we have the video and photo options. These are great. So if you're having a problem on the trail and you want to take a picture for your uh, master trainer, your team leader, whatever, you just hit photo and up will pop some options. You can take a photo or choose it from library. If things are going great and you want to show off what you're doing, your team member wants a group photo or something, you can take a photo and select it and it will lay it right into your log and be a permanent part of your log so it's nice you can refer back to it or take a look or whatever you want to do another really nice option we have is video if you tap video what will happen is your screen will kind of go dark and it will jump into your how your android device takes video uh, my, on mine a little camera comes up a little video camera and you tap that and it instantly starts recording then you just hit the check mark and it stops and it will actually lay that video into your log so it's a permanent part of your log if you want. So it's great if you're having a problem or if things are going good and you want to celebrate something and take a video and lay it into your log and save it. It works really good. 
I can't tap on the video right now and show it to you because if I do it will end my training session and I don't want to do that but it works really good um, and it's a very very nice feature to have in here that's the end of the page so we're gonna go up to the top corner here and hit save again okay now here's the canine handler and grade tap the new button the gray add new this is for you or your teammates to fill out uh, this just lets you know how your dog's doing uh, there's a bunch of trail specific questions trailing specific questions here and there's just a small little good needs improvement or not applicable uh, with these questions I'll let you read these questions at your leisure I'll just fill out good for all of them just for the sake of argument here and we have a handy dandy comment section down here so if you do have a needs improvement on anything like say you have a new dog and your dog keeps missing right hand turns all the time um, you can put together your needs improvement plan on how you're gonna fix that and you know you can put it in your comment section get it approved by your team leader or whatever and then the next time you do your log then you'll have where you went through and you fixed a problem with your dog and the dog is now doing right left hand corners great no problem and then you've got it in your record on how you did that and it's, it's really handy to have I'm just gonna type great job here just to make it simple and this one is done so we'll hit save it'll bring us back to the main page okay for the date and time here it'll save your date and time that you worked um, just go ahead and select the day you did your trail if it's the same day it'll just automatically do it for you when you're done just hit done and it should it'll be in there for you and their signature just tap that and just type just put in with your finger or your stylus go ahead and write on there with your signature hit done and now we come to the save button um, you definitely want to have either Adobe Acrobat or some application on your device that you're using here uh, that will open a PDF file because that's how we save your log it's in a PDF file so when it's saved and printed and all that stuff uh, that's the most universal thing we could come up with to use so when we hit save a lot of neat things happen here when we hit save it will automatically bring up your log and show it to you and it will email you a copy of it to your email and it will also send it to the cloud and back it up into view logs so it's pretty good so we're gonna hit save and so it takes a second here and the more information you have or the bigger the pictures it takes a little bit longer to save so we don't really have any pictures so it's pretty quick okay now this is gonna ask me these are the two programs I have that will open up PDF files I can either open the PDF file on my HP and print it if I want to uh, wirelessly or I can just open my Adobe Acrobat and take a look at it. We're going to do Adobe just so you can see what it looks like. So it's going to go ahead and open here for us. And this is what it looks like that you just filled out. And this will be available for you later on, too. So this was just emailed to you. If you filled it out, you can print from here, email it, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now let's say by a week down the road, your sheriff's office or your head head of your team leader they need your records and you threw away your email that had a copy of this and and your dog uh, tore up your log file well what do you do well pretty simple at the bottom you go to logs just to the right of it there's a little view it looks like a little spyglass you just tap view logs and we backed it up for you so we're gonna go ahead and look here and what log did you just fill out you filled out the trailing log so you tap view and print trailing log and there's a copy of a trailing log right there you would just tap on it once and there's some options that are great here if you want to just tap view it'll open up in that Adobe format and you could go ahead and print if you want to print them a hard copy but we're going to show you the share also it's is really nice options so you can print directly like if the sheriff's department has a wireless printer and you're hooked into it or something you can print directly there or you can use your email that's on your device or you can send it through Bluetooth or however you're comfortable with your device 
to be able to get it to somebody else. We have as many options that are, as are available out there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our tutorial here. If you have any suggestions or any questions, you can uh, email us at ariesk-9.com and we'll be glad to address those if you'd like any other questions that we don't have in our logs that are really popular, then we'll, we'll work on putting those in for people.